Good morning everyone. Welcome back to another video. Hey. Um, just popped out this morning to uh, check out some new camp locations. One that I think is going to be really quiet and a lot closer to my home. So if you have a little check out the area. So it's about 20 past 7 now. I'm going to head off in that direction uh, into this new woodlands that I found on Google Earth, Google Maps, and uh, check it out basically. So we're getting there and uh, set up, and then we're going to cook some food. See you in a bit. Um, just come to an opening, decided to stop for a few minutes because I've been walking for a little while. Um, I am seeing signs everywhere saying that it's, it's private property, so it's a little bit of a dodgy one. But then I got to another part and then it's a pub, public footpath, so I'm a bit confused. So I'm going to have to look around. So you can see in the distance, I don't know if you can see it up there, there's a farm behind me in the distance. Um, so I'm just going to keep looking, looking around for spaces. So I'll show you on Google Maps what you know what I'm looking at and where I'm, I'm going. So I'll just switch you around. So I am currently here where the little blue dot is, and you can see the woodlands I've just walked through, and I've come to the opening that is what you can see in front of you now. So the question is, do I go around the outer edge or do I go back in and try and find it that way? So there is a solar farm off in that direction and I'm just going to keep looking because I don't want to be too close to anyone. But I've uh, just come to a crossroads, really nice one actually. You see behind me there's a load of uh, timber logs and things like that. And the sun, it's about 8 o'clock now, so the sun is just starting to rise over the trees. Um, I've seen some people walking through it, and I've seen some these little things. So that says to me that there is some kind of right of way through it, probably just a footpath, and the woodland is probably private. So I'm going to crack on in that direction. It should take me further away from everything and up near the solar farm and then hopefully I can set up and get cooking. I've, uh, I've been walking around for ages trying to find somewhere. Um, I kind of found a little bit that's out the way, away from the footpaths. There's a little bit of an opening with a little bit of uh, greenery in the back. Um, I'm all set up now. I've got the half lavu set up on the ridge line. So I'll just take you over and show you what I've done with that. And then we'll get cooking. We'll set up the bush box and I will actually cook. You know, I've been telling you for the last God knows how long. Right, so let's have a look around this. So for anyone who's unfamiliar, this is the Polish military poncho, also known when you put the two R's together as a Polish levu. So usually it comes with a pole up the top there, and it comes down to the base, but you can make more space by having a ridge line. So what I've done, it was sticking the loop there, down the ridge line. Yeah, so this is what's called 
a tarp clamp, which I got the idea from uh, Hardy Hardy Walks and World Camps, and then yeah, just up up to there. So yeah, you see, you can get hell of a lot more space in there. You can use them as day, look the half as a day shelter. So it's not as it's not as tight as you would usually get. I could probably set it up a little bit better by having that bit up there a bit higher. But you know, it works for me. Let's get cooking. Tell you what, there's a lot of pheasant in this woods. Well, I'm all uh, all ready to go now. All my wood's prepped. I think I've got enough wood to cook it. Um, today I'm going to be doing um, something a little different. I'm going to try and do a bit of um, salmon for breakfast. Little disclaimer: I am not a professional chef whatsoever. I've just kind of looked on Google, got some inspiration, and then thought, yeah, that'd be nice to cook on a bush box. So I'm going to get the Push box XL out and then we're going to fire that up and then I'll show you what we're cooking. So for the purpose of this video, I'm just going to be using a fire steel and cotton wool balls because it's just easy this time of year. So let's do that.
Well, I've just had a little bit of an epic fail really, because uh, I've got some of the dead standing over there. It's a little bit mossy on the bark, so I'm assuming it was a bit wet. So it didn't light, it just bloody went out. And I used a load of, uh, load of cotton wool and a bit of birch I had, so what I've had to resort to, because this is my final shot, otherwise I'm not having anything to eat. Well, you're not seeing any food <laughs> for that matter. Um, I've had to batten the hell out of it, get it down into little bits of kindling. We'll see if that goes, but fingers crossed, I'll have some food. Ooh. I was, uh, I was about this close to going home for a second because this wood is so damp I could hardly get any of it going so literally it's going for the minute so we'll see um, let's get the salmon on because I'm worried you can hear it hissing can't you with the, the, how wet it is Bit of butter in there. Oh, that's going nicely now. Bush box XL is going nicely now. For a, like I said, for a second, I really thought that wasn't going to light. The wood, I went through, uh, I was using the alcohol gel as well to try and light out, and it still wouldn't go. It's just so damp, this wood. But I'm glad now. It's all on. I can relax.
Right, so the salmon's all done. Success, I'm so happy that I got that the bush box going because I was literally this close to going home and I was thinking this would make an absolute rubbish video. Um, I'm so glad I've got it going. I've got to keep that wood going though because it's still a bit damp. So what I'm trying to do at the moment is I'm trying to, I'm going to do a poached egg. We'll try and do a poached egg in my titanium cup. So I've not seen people do this. I've never done it. So it may end badly. It may work. Who knows? We can only see, can't we? So I'm going to wait for that water to boil and then we'll get the egg in there and see how it turns out. Uh, here's the poached egg. <laughs> I don't know how this has come out. Oh, not too bad. Grubs up for now. The poached egg semi worked. Um, I'm going to just try and make a hollandaise sauce now. Um, did a bit too much for this cook, really, but this is what we've got so far. Do you know what? Forgot the asparagus. <laughs> That's supposed to go on before the poached egg, never mind. We'll get it going again. I'm not doing well today. This is. <laughs> so I'm no professional chef, but I'm not a professional camper by looks of it, or cook. <laughs> oh god. I was only supposed to be out, I thought I'd come out early, about 7 o'clock, have a look at some new places, and then um, I thought I wouldn't be out that long, but I've been out, you know, it's, it's coming up bloody lunch time now. <laughs> I haven't had my breakfast yet. So, I'll just put the um, asparagus back on over there, look. You can see yourself, it's the asparagus in the pan. So I'll let them cook. Plane going over. Right, so that's cooking. To make this hollandaise sauce, what you need is a knob of butter, which I'm going to get out of this. I'd say this is just stuff I've got on uh, off of Google. Like that. So there's the knob of butter. You need an egg, one egg yolk. If you're going to do this for two people, obviously double it. Um, so I'm going to try and get this egg yolk out now. I haven't had to do this for years. Get the old yolk out. Oh, if you don't know what I'm doing, I'm just sort of doing it through the shell like that just to get rid of the, the egg white until you get the yolk. Right. I believe that's enough egg yolk. And then you need half a freshly squeezed lemon. Look at these asparagus turn. Oh, they're coming lovely there. I will try and show you this stuff. Um, so there, again. Set cooking. Right, 
of a lemon. I'm cutting it a bit like an idiot because I want you guys to see it. Not me being an idiot, but me cutting a lemon. So right, it's half a lemon. I'm going to squeeze that into here. I've used this cup for everything, pretty much. Got my poached egg in it. Hope there's no pips in there. But hey, a smoky joke. And then some white wine vinegar, apparently. So let's give that a rock. We'll probably put too much in there. It says splash probably or something. Right, let's take these. Then the asparagus is done. Give this a bit of a mix. I think I'm going to try this before I put it on anything though. There's the asparagus. Let's get that looking Michelin star. Any, uh, any proper chefs out there you can tell me off, I know I've done this wrong. It should have gone underneath, but hey. Just got the uh, sauce now to go. Get a few more twigs in the box to get rid of all the evidence of me being here because I had to throw a lot of this stuff on the ground because basically wasn't lighting. So hopefully now, now it's nice and hot. Oh, there we go, the sauce is Kinda there now. Well, food is all done. I just need to pour the sauce on. I've tried a little bit of it. It's I've probably put a little bit too much of that white wine vinegar in there, but hey, it's a learning curve, I suppose, isn't it? So we head back to camp, or day camp, whatever you want to call it. Finally got the bush box going, and then this is my lovely meal, and then this is the sauce. A little bit runny. Here we go. Oh yeah. So, my first proper bush box meal in the woods. So I'm going to tuck into this and then uh, I'll come back to you once, once I've uh, devoured it. Well, that salmon was bloody lovely, I'll tell you that. It's a good little experiment, kind of worked. Um, I did enjoy it. So, the, I did a bit of the cooking today on this video just because I wanted to try it. And uh, when I went on my last camp, I kind of mentioned that the bush box excel I haven't used a lot. I've used it with a trangia quite often, but never really as with the fire. And today, that's just proven that. It was hard work, only because you know we're going into winter time now. But um, it wasn't the only reason I wanted to do this video. The other reason I wanted to do this video was to basically uh, say thank you to everyone who's um, currently subscribed to the channel. I think I'm up to 
440 subs at the moment so I'm really grateful for that thank you for everyone who's jumped on watched the videos like subscribe comment um, and to show my appreciation for that anyone who's been a subscriber before or who would like to subscribe when I reach 500 subscribers I'm going to be doing a giveaway um, the giveaway I've already got the items I'm not going to mention what they are now I'd rather do it when the time comes um, but some of it will be um, some pat patches that Elliot um, sorry Andy Elliot from Elliot Bushcraft done for me I'll put a little picture up um, or it'll come on the screen now but he's done a, an absolute cracking job on them for me so a little bit of a shout out to Andy for that and um, also, I'd like to give a shout out to Mason Bushcraft Knives on Instagram. Um, he made me this custom knife with the Kydex sheath. Um, I will do a full review of this. Um, I've had it for a while now, so I'm pretty impressed. I'll give you a little closer. Ooh, so that's the knife there. And then it does have a little clip here, but I've taken it off for now. And then a nice big blade there for battening. I'll be taken care of later when I go home but yeah so go check him out on Instagram and go check out Elliot Bushcraft on Facebook and Instagram I think so if you need any personalised patches made out of leather black or white with colour go see uh, Elliot Bushcraft and if you want a custom knife or you want to just go and have a look at his page head over to Mason Bushcraft Knives on Instagram it does some some cracking nice he's done some really nice ones lately so yeah go check them out so i'm just going to go pack up all this stuff now head off home because i am seriously late trying to get this bush box going um so yeah thank you very much for watching the video i hope you enjoyed the food i cooked and i'll see you on a camp very very soon ta-da